Hey guys, today is another special episode with Andrea. He came back all the way from Italy. I'm very happy you're back. So Me too. Coming. Thank you so much, mate. Um, we had a lot of fun last time. If you missed that episode, I'll link it in the description where we visited the fish farm from Dutch Yellowtail Kingfish and we made a super, super delicious amuse with some panzu. Yep. Um, and it really was super delicious. And chicken skin, right? Yeah, yep. chicken skin. That yeah. too. Blow my mind. Um, today we're going to make a very nice dish as well. We're going to cook the Dutch Yellowtail Kingfish in clarified butter. We're serving that with a poached oyster that's poached in a Dutch beer blanc, some seaweed and chives oil, a sweet and sour cold ribby bundle and some delicious seaweeds. So, let's begin. begin. Like I said, in our last video, Andrea and I visited the Dutch Yellowtail farm, where we learned everything about the kingfish. Click on the link if you want to see and learn more as well. Before we head home, we took a little detour to pick some delicious seaweeds. They also grow in the Oosterschelde water. And this time we only took some sea lettuce and we use it for our seaweed and chives oil. Now we're back in the kitchen and first we'll show you how to fillet one of these amazing yellowtail kingfish. Start by removing the scales. You can also leave them on if you're not using the skin. But I always like removing them anyway because it makes the filleting a lot easier and you don't need to worry about getting scales on your fillets. Now make an incision just behind the fin and cut along the bone of the head. Then directly twist your knife horizontal and cut along the spine all the way down to the tail. Repeat this and put some pressure on your knife to ensure you don't leave any fish on the bones. Now turn the fish around and repeat the same process we just did, only now I like to remove the head first, making the filleting a lot easier. Then remove the other fillet as well. Now keep the bones and head to make a delicious sauce. Then take one of the fillets and cut the belly bones off. After that use a bone tweezer to remove the remaining bones. You can also just cut them away if you use the top loin and the belly part for different preparations like we're doing today. Then make a small incision at the tail side and use it to pull the skin tight. Now use a long knife to gently remove the skin. Keep the skin tight, otherwise you'll remove too much fish as well. The loin should portion into big pieces. The belly part of the fillet we used in our last video. Now for the dashi broth. First turn on your barbecue. Then take the kingfish head and remove the eyes and gills. These are very bitter. After that take the bones and tie a piece of cooking rope around the center or the tail. Place it so it hangs just above the barbecue. Now also add the fish head and barbecue it all around till well toasted. The fat from the fish will melt and this will act as a fuel for the barbecue, making it hotter in the beginning with a super nice flavor. After that remove the fish head and leave the bones still toasted and they start to color. Then pour 4 liters of water into a big pot. Now add 100 grams of kombu and let this sit for 4 to 5 hours. Then bring this to a simmer on a medium heat. While it's coming to a simmer, scoop off any white foam with a ladle. Once the broth is almost at a simmer, let's say 90 degrees celsius, gently remove the kombu. Then add the toasted bones and head and bring this to a simmer. Once it's simmering, turn down the heat and let it marinate for 40 minutes. Meanwhile, transfer 1 kilogram of chicken eggs on an oven rack and toast them at 200 degrees celsius for 1 hour till nice and golden. Once the bones have marinated, pass it through a fine sieve. Now pour the dashi back into the pan and add the toasted chicken eggs. Let this simmer for 90 minutes. Meanwhile, also remove any white foam with a ladle. After those 90 minutes, add 100 grams of dried shiitake mushrooms and let this simmer for 1 hour. Then drain the broth and let it sit for at least 30 minutes so you don't waste a single drop. Meanwhile, trim the ends from 300 grams of spring onions and chop them. Then take 300 grams of onion, cut them in half, clean them and chop them. Once that's done, pour the dashi back into the pan and add the chopped vegetables. Let this simmer for 90 minutes. Then pass the dashi through a fine sieve and let it sit so you don't waste a single drop. After that, bring it to a simmer once more and reduce it till it's a rich and powerful broth. Now for the dashi beurre blanc. Pour 400 grams of the dashi into a saucepan and reduce it till you're left with 100 grams. Then add 20 grams of cream and bring it to a boil. Once it's boiling, turn down the heat and while stirring add 200 grams of cold cubes of butter. Then give it a little taste for seasoning and when necessary add some rice vinegar or salt. Now for the seaweed and chives oil. Lay 20 grams of sea lettuce on the kitchen paper and put another paper on top. Then press it down to remove any liquid. 
After that, transfer it into a blender and also add 10 grams of chives and 150 grams of neutral oil. We use sunflower oil. Now blend it till the oil's at 65 degrees Celsius. It will heat up from the friction. Then pour it on a sieve that's lined with a kitchen paper and let it drain in your fridge. Now for the sweet and sour kohlrabi. Pour 150 grams of white wine vinegar into a saucepan and also add 100 grams of water, 100 grams of sugar and 3 grams of salt. Then chop one lemongrass and add it to the pan as well. Bring this to a boil on a medium heat. Once it has boiled, turn off the heat and let it cool down completely out of the fridge. Then pass it through a fine sieve and keep it in your fridge for later. Now take two kohlrabis and remove the leaves. Then remove the top and bottom and trim the sides. After that, install it on a vegetable seed slicer and slice both the kohlrabis in long thin slices. Now portion a small amount of the slices in small but long rectangles and let them marinate in the sweet and sour. Keep them in your fridge for at least 30 minutes. The remaining kohlrabi you can chop in thin julienne. Also keep it in your fridge for later. Now lay a couple of sweet and sour slices on a tray and place some sea ester on top. Also add some samphire and fennel leaf. Then roll it up into a nice bundle. Now add a couple chives flowers and keep them in your fridge for later. Then for the oyster. Season some boiling water with salt and boil a couple of oysters for one minute. Now directly cool them down in ice water. After 5 minutes, remove them from the water and open them up. Put the oyster between a kitchen cloth and insert an oyster knife in the joint. Then twist the knife to pop the joint and gently cut the muscle on the flat side. Now cut the muscle loose on the bottom shell and transfer the oyster on a metal tray. Keep them in your fridge for later. The final thing we need to prep is the clarified butter. For that, transfer 400 grams of butter into a saucepan and slowly melt it on the lowest heat. Once melted, gently pour the clarified butter into a small saucepan. All the liquids will sink to the bottom, today we're not using them. Then we can start to finish the dish. First, heat up the clarified butter till it's 80 degrees Celsius. Now season the fish with salt and submerge them completely in the butter. Let this cook for around 12 minutes. Meanwhile, transfer the kohlrabi julienne into a pan and add a couple tablespoons of the delicious sauce. Heat this up on a low heat till the kohlrabi is tender but still has a small bite. The oysters you can heat up in a hot dashi burbla for around 30 to 45 seconds. To check if the yellow tail is cooked, just insert a needle in the fish and check if there's no resistance. If it's cooked, it will slide through without any trouble. Otherwise, let it cook a bit more. Now place a spoon of the kohlrabi in a bowl and place the fish next to it. Then place the oyster on the kohlrabi and also add the bundle. Now finish it off with the hot dashi burbla that's mixed with the seaweed and chives oil. Okay guys, that's it for today. Again, like the last time, super happy with the result. The yellowtail is cooked to perfection, the oyster looks great, and I think it, the whole dish reminds me of Zeeland. We just came from there, like yeah, we visited two weeks ago, and yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, again, thank you so much for helping, thank you so much for coming. We had, I, thank you, I think we had a lot of fun again. Yeah, so, totally. Let's dig in. Yeah, I'm super happy with that too, and I can't wait to do that. So let's do it. Right? Yeah, you first. You first. Guest first. So. All right. That is such an honor. <laughs> yeah, it's super tender. The fish. It's mm. flaky, falling apart. And I think in combination mm. with the sauce, it's gonna be great. And with the oyster too. That's perfect. I mean, the saltiness is perfectly balanced. It really, really melts in your mouth. That's perfect. So good. You can find some freshness and I won't stop eating it. I took a bite way too big. So <laughs> just continue. <laughs> Thank you so much, mate, for making me do that. Really, it's totally worth it. Cool. I mean, it's, it's been quite a long journey from Italy, but it's totally worth it. I will do that again and again and again, for real. Thank you so much. I'm glad you liked it. Um, yeah, I can't agree on the dish. It's, it's so good. The, the fish, it's cooked to perfection in the, in, the, in the clarified butter, which is super nice. It's really, because the fish is already quite fatty, but now it's not dry at all. It's cooked to perfection because it's so flaky, so tender. And then in combination with the salty oyster, the dashi beurre blanc, 
and that beautiful sea. sea you know, you, you can find some freshness in yeah. the herbs too, right? So it's like it's, it's cleaning all your mouth. It's kind of perfect, for real. It's delicious. like it's fatty, it's really melting, but it doesn't taste like it. It tastes like freshness and you just want to eat more of it. Yeah. It's perfect. Thank you. Cool. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming here again. Thank you, mate. You Great. guys, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video like we uh, did making it. Like and share the video. Uh, subscribe if you want to support my channel. Go check out Andrea's Instagram as well. I'll link it in the bio. And I hope to see you. you next time. And as always, oh no, today we said something else, huh? Something else. Ready? Buon appetito! Buon appetito! <laughs>